Oh, we should be speaking with Otto. Let me just check who else we're gonna fight. Did I ever tell you about the time I flew all the way to the bottom of Zemeckis Basin? What oh, did you what? find down there? A deeper understanding, Kupo. Tell me. From the outside, it seems so mysterious. Where does all the water go to, Kupo? Why does it... About yourself? I can't swim. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get some really useful information, but it was fun indeed. The man in black. God. But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that... Would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Like father, like daughter. Let's see what we can find. Find the missing pieces. Search mid's dungeon. Two things. He still had the same outfit. If Amber and the Lazarus had gone, do you think Mid's ship will ever sail? Of course it will. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. And the other one is over here. Volumes. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Hmm. There's something else? Oh, the doll. Or shelf, it says. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. That looks like a white mage outfit. Doesn't it? Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Oh, Midadol. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus. Together, no, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck, Sid. Daughter dear. Hmm. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. She'll know, right? So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. She is all right. That's so unlike Clive, just walking, walking away without answering. <laughs> the real Clive would be like, oh, she's fine. He's alive and kicking. Nothing to read. Let's see what Otto has to say. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. Probably. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. 
Opus. That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think so she had created that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Okay, then we're gonna go inspect it. It was an army of Akashi. Is it broken? Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. <laughs> See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. <laughs> so we pressed all the buttons. <laughs> like this. You're gonna do it again? Oh. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. What can't Clive do? There's something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you no, you two it? did. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? What a handyman. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah. New music. Oh. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Remove what? What is that? I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Mid might like know. The stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Mid will certainly know what that is. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <sighs> Ask me when I get back. <laughs> Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? 
I'm gonna try to. <laughs> Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. The final piece. Back. That's what it said. Oh, we have quests. Well, you guys know we gotta do these. And there's even a plus one. So that one should be important. We might get some uh, very important cutscene. All right, Clive. Let me guess, Blackthorn. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission. And he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed. Only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And, seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought, maybe... But shouldn't you be, like, his I best friend by again. now? Well... I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Blacksmith Blues. Three. How long is this gonna go on for? There better be something special in this quest. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. Oh, we can't have that. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. We'll see. Tears of mercy. So is there something special with this bearer? That she won't leave his side? Well, Taya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Northern, near Lorbert's Pass. Spider. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Uh, you remember that, right, Clive? Avoid Thank you, contact. Clive. I won't forget this. With the tears.
Hey, we're just gonna grab all the questies. And then head out. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone. I want to know more about Taria, actually. So I hope we get to know something with this quest. Heard you're in Canva, fetching young men. Right, speak with Blackthorn. That's what this quest was about. Grumpy old pal. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. <gasps> memories are you married? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be uh, like that. Just feel it. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together. Back oh. in the day. You've never mentioned him before. I thought it was going to be something I? romantic. I seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. So our rivalry. Past improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Very well. This could Why be don't we useful go and pay him a visit? to us. Learn his secret. I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravosh, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Mm -hmm. Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Okay, Dravosh. Then we're gonna head off there. Just need to take this quest down in the... what's it called? Herb... herbalist? No? Flower garden! Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Uh-huh. Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with marbles. I know, I know. 
but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. What's... And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As ordinary. for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Mm-hmm. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Oh, please, sir, can I have some more ball? <laughs> so, a special specimen of more ball? It's not a Akashic one, is it? It could be. Well, well, this will be our third marble fight. Let me just see, there's someone who wants to talk with us. If it's knowledge you seek. Here. Oh, oh, it's the board, of course. F cares. Or better yet, nectar. Ask about marble sightings. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Kupo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why, Kupo. Did he just call the Morble a carrot? Ah, its name is Carrot. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. What we can do first? Tabor. Where would it be? I'm thinking about the place. We ran there and there was nothing. There was nothing there when we went there, but but the but the area was rather big, so there has to be something there eventually. So wouldn't it be a good spot to check for a marble? Since there's water, probably some mud as well, and they seem to like that. It was in here. So, Be safe. I don't see any, but it might just emerge, so I'ma just prepare myself. I'm just checking all my attacks. <laughs> we didn't even have a chance to take that one. Let's go, carrot! Well, something seems to be growing. Well, good thing we don't have Joshua with us. Come on, get down. 
even though it looks like he's struggling taking them down, it's so easy for him. Worse breath. <laughs> Not just bad breath, but worse. Would we have just been killed by that? There is the lightning rod. I was looking for you. How about this? I was really trying to screw me there. I love this animation. Form. He wasn't even semi prime that trick. He just brought out his big ass sword and sliced Clive across the chest. He was totally out of it. How the frick are we gonna handle him? I think we'll probably need Dion in that fight. Dion and Joshua. And hopefully Jill is alive and well. I mean, one thing to really break his spirit would be to just kill off Jill. I feel like Ultima would be like, yes, let's do that. I'm just hoping that she's a prisoner and that they are trying to lure Clive there. And it's not even like luring him in. He, he was he was always gonna go and fight Barnabas anyway, so I mean eventually. Get him! Go for it! And ignition.
There we go. I'm still thinking about how the frick we are gonna defeat Barnabas. Ugh. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. I mean, we need to get so much stronger to beat him. And are there any other icons that we can absorb? I mean, I don't want to absorb Bahamut. Because I want Dion to have Bahamut. What am I saying? We already have Bahamut's powers. <laughs> uh, and besides... Dion is alive anyway, so... That's good, right? Could he still turn into Bahamut? I mean, I think so. He, he wasn't killed. Uh, Sid, I... Maybe not uh, at will. Can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Yeah. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. You do that. We've got other quests to do. Ooh, we're already gonna see? So... Any progress? It is just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why Already? I such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Increasing consumable. Ho ho ho! Consumable potency maximized. That's not bad. Uh, you have obtained a vial of invigorated Morgan Beard extract. Both potions and high potion numbers restore even more HP, while strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonic last even longer. Okay. Good, good. We'll definitely need that when we fight Barnabas. Yeah. We need to get that ship sailing so we can go to Ash. If it's or wherever insane. Barnabas is with Jill. So what do I owe the honor? Hmm? I already took this one. Look, I said I'll go and I will, but that doesn't make this a good idea. Zoltan will have turned the old of Dravorst against me. They won't be welcoming us with open arms. That won't be an Are issue. Let me just see what I can do. Okay, nothing yet. Ooh, I want this one, the Sons of Ouroboros. That it? <clears throat> Fine. Oh, Torgo. What do you think, Torgo? I want to pet Torgo. Yes. 
Yet still he clung we already heard this, but I think it's good. And bellowed, Look at this twirl! Okay, we're off now. So, two lost wing. Let's see if Quinton might have something to say. What are we even? What's supposed to be here? Is it the Tears of Mercy? Am I going the right way? Yeah! First time I don't turn to that cottage instead. It seems so dark here now. But there's still music. Soothing music. Oh yeah, there were some spiders, right? I do not like spiders. Leave me alone. I do not have time for you guys. Mightling. Oh. The could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. <laughs> what do you mean, spider? Not the size of curls. Get him. What do you guys think? Do you think that Slepner, aka Harbor, is dead? I mean, Joshua didn't seem like he thought he was dead. And it said nothing when we talked with Tomes. In the data log, it said nothing about him being dead. It said bested, but not slain. But did it say slain? When we actually defeated him? I'm gonna have to go back and look. There we go. Quest done. Spider eye, eel. <sighs> Hopefully, one will be enough. Rodrigo will have prepared the other ingredients by now. So, did we just head over to the other quest and then go back to the hideaway? I think that's what we're gonna do. Just finish up everything. Which way? Not well, that way. So, is it this way? No. I always picked the incorrect ones. Is there a way here? No. Has to be over here, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe if Blackthorn learns to create jewelry, maybe he can make a ring for Clive, the who will then give the two chill. 
I mean, it's not a bad idea. But other than that, I'm like, hmm. Do, do we need jewels? No. Fly Ambrosia. But gifting them to Jill, yes. Assuming she's alive and well. If not, we're having a very big beef with Barnabas. Possibly in his afterlife as well. But that feels so usual to like kill off the love interest. I really hope it doesn't happen, but it's so darn usual in games and in movies in every consumable media. Maybe they do that so Clive like gains some other powers to be able to defeat the rest. Barnabas. Can never know. No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Huh. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. <laughs> I suggest you go home. I suggest That's what you I'm let trying me to do, in. you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? <laughs> no. It isn't. Blackthorn. Now will you let us in? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. He hasn't even started yet. I promise I won't throw the first punch. Not good enough for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Good enough. Go on, then. Much obliged. So this is where Blackthorn is from. Doesn't look so cozy, but what do I know? We so haven't been inside. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Wouldn't want to be woken Die. up by that. You're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Clive is a saint. Like the amount of time he is putting into these side quests. Like these problems aren't even his own. He's like, I'm gonna help these people. I really hope that everyone that Clive has helped will stick up for him in one way or another. Because this man deserves everything. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. Ooh. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. <laughs> well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Have you seen Clive? What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? 
He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. You're just standing oh, there watching. And if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. I mean, this place right. ain't that big. I'm going. I know where the exit is, man. I know. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. Well, 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 let's tell him what happened. Mama? Didn't really work. What is that flying? But if we can't fire the forges, how are we gonna earn our keep? Hi, we so need to cool. leave. <laughs> Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Yeah. As a personal favor to him, yes. But we ain't gonna do that, right? Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. Mm. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. Yeah, what, what did you do? Against you? Steal his wife? I left. Dravosht. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People Money? like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do Quality that. Quality over quantity, so I say. So a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the great Smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive, Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this mm -hmm. be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? Good step in the right that, direction. Right? Of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us... Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. 
Time for a spot of hunting, then. Okay. Well, it's good to start at one place without the crystals. So everyone else can see go. that life can be easy without crystals as well. You don't need those darn crystals. Oh, I don't want to fight this panther right now. You're not in my quest list, mister. Stand back. I can see Drake's fang from here. Now I'm just thinking about Let's that Let's make this bread. quick, shall we? Is that it? Yeah. Thanks, girl. And we're gonna just max it up. It was too late to use a deadly embrace, but it was not. Rising Flame is pretty good to have, because it's also an ability that refreshes pretty fast. Got anything? Salamander skin. I dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even need to take Ambrosia. <laughs> Let's give him this then. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. There you go. Hope you can end your beef with this. <laughs> Somehow. There should be plenty. Right then. Time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. I mean, you don't really have to be on his good side. But, I guess... He wants to, well, so I'll we do jammed. the quest. I honestly didn't think it'd work, but it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. Mm -hmm. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravosht is saved. Sorry about earlier. We did good. Now what you got to say? I, uh... I take back everything I said. That Maybe I don't forgive you. Is, and honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? Why? Why don't what you? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. 
Plain and simple. The man Dravosh needed. And that's what but Blackthorn is thinking about he with took you. all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. You grumpy bastard! <laughs> well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. <laughs> but what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Oh, he already left? Then we're gonna head back. Because we need to speak to Taria and Blackthorn. Might as well go to Blackthorn first. Might actually have to go to our chamber as well. Welcome back, Sid. Fire around. Honestly, Sid, you're too nice for your own good. We have a lot of money, that, ladies so... And gents? The next round's courtesy of the realm's most benevolent outlaw. I wonder if there's like some kind of hidden cutscene if we do this a couple of times. Oh, you're not leaving already, are you? Which song should we? Uh, Twilight. I mean, I like that one. Uh, ooh! But it doesn't fit in. Not that one either. Our terms. Let's keep it at this. How you doing? Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to ask to help welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pickle Cinder. How'd you come by this? Zoltan. Or will he not use it if I say it's from him? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm uh, sure. Yeah. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> but do you want Imagine to? Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? <laughs> Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, about to put Zoltan back in his place. So, are we done with your quest, Blackthorn? Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. 
good enough for us as well. Now we need to go to Taria. Ooh, we got the design draft. The one I wanted. But there was something we didn't have yet. So I need to go do some hunting. Let so me see what be. it was. Oh, two. Stone Tongue and Comet Feather. I'll check that out, actually, on the internet. And this stained loincloth. Okay. I'm gonna check what actually drops that. And go and fight! Let's go! Oh, I hope we get some kind of background information on Taria. And also, how did her hair grow that long in five years? Like... Does she sell that kind of potion to anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. We can't this have that. Bite her eye. Ew. Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. Well, let's just... Trust in Taria because she knows what she doing. And does How she know him? Light, my dear. Dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Taya. I'm... So proud of you. They know each other. Please tell me more. Can't end it there. Is he gonna tell me? <gasps> he died. He's gone. Thank you, Rodriguez. And you, Clive? Oh, see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor. Oh. Back in the Southern Isles. On the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands... I was next to useless, until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. So Taria's mentor. 
Well, glad we got to know something. Oh, am I gonna about to sneeze? Maybe not. Okay. I think we are done for today, actually. So thank you all for watching and bye-bye.